dear President Tusk, dear Donald, distinguished heads of states, heads of governments, dear friends of the European People's Party. First of all, let me say that this is really a great honor for me to be here today and to address you as chairman of the Christian Democrats in my country, in Germany. As many of you might know, I started my political career in the European Parliament. This was more than 30 years ago, in 1989. And since then, I'm a strong believer that the European Union is in the best interest of our people, of our countries, and of our future. And ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, this is, this is my strong European commitment, which drives me also in our national politics in Germany. And I can bring you a good message from my country, from the Christian Democrats in Germany. We saw some new polls in the afternoon. And these polls are showing that we are now again number one in Germany. And it's, it comes even better. We are 10 percent points ahead of the Social Democrats. And the Social Democrats and the Social Democrats in Germany are down to number three. Between of us, there are the Greens. And the Green Party, most likely, will become the biggest challenge for us in Germany for the next European elections and for the next national elections. So let's be clear. We have to make our own clear statement and our own clear position in economic affairs, in social security affairs, in foreign security affairs. And this is what brings me to my first point. We are faced with an historical challenge. For the first time in our history, in EPP's history, a Congress is taking place when the biggest country in the world, which is Russia, is attacking and invading the second biggest country in Europe, which is Ukraine. This simple fact, dear friends, this brutal fact, reminds us every day that this war is not only taking place somewhere in the world, but in the heart of Europe, and that this attack is attacking the essence of our European values, is attacking the global and European political order, and is attacking European freedom and democracy. And if this is true, the war reminds us security starts with strong and sufficient defense capabilities, including strong deterrence. So we have to make this very clear. Europe, our values, our democracies can only survive if we are willing to spend money and capacities in our security. And my second message is the following. The EPP is the strongest party in Europe. We are the only one who are able to bring East and West, the North and the South in Europe back together. And when I was in Brussels last time, I pointed out that this party, and Manfred knows that as the leader of our parliamentary group, that this party is the only one who is covering any country in the European Union. We are having here in this room 
representatives from each and any country in the European Union, and that the parliamentary group is the only one who is having members of the European Parliament from each and any member state of the European Union. This makes us proud, but this brings us to our political responsibility. And therefore, dear friends, as Germans, we are grateful that Manfred Weber is willing to run as chairman of our EPP's family. But I give you a promise. This is a strong German commitment for European affairs and our cooperation in the European Union. This will not lead to an overweight of Germans. The clear message is that we Germans are really willing to share with you our European commitment and our European policy to bring Europe jointly forward and to do something which is more important than ever before, that this European Union becomes active and a clear, strong global player in any respect. So, dear friends, the war in Ukraine is not the only challenge we are faced with in these days. The rise of populism, Euroscepticism, and the crisis of trust of democratic, democratic structures must be addressed seriously as well. This also includes a high level of self-reflection and willingness to reform the EU. A strategic, economic and geopolitical independence in close cooperation with our democratic partners around the world must be the common goal for all of us. The next European elections will take place in summer 2024. And this is 15 months before we will have our next federal election in the Federal Republic of Germany. So our strong commitment goes to these two elections in 2024 and 2025. Let us jointly show that the Christian Democrats and the center-right uh, parties in this European Union have the clear message that we will become the decisive political power in both European-wide and national. And that's the reason why I'm really happy to be here, to speak to you, and to bring this message to you that the Christian Democrats are those who are clearly committed to national and to European policy. Manfred, all the best, full support from our side, and dear colleagues and friends from all over the European Union, Germany is full on your side, and we will fight together for a better Europe. Thank you for your attention.